All right, so tomorrow is Tuesday, January 23rd, and it's all but confirmed that we're getting an update for tonight. So there's no official announcement yet. Usually the official Fortnite status Twitter account will come out and say, hey, there's a downloadable update tonight, but we haven't got that just yet. However, one of the highlights of this update is that a lot of the content creators in Fortnite that have icon series are posting about their Lego icon series. So let me show you an example. So this is from Chica. She says, my skin is back as a Lego minifig. If you already have my icon skin, you'll automatically get my Lego minifig. Both will be available tomorrow, and then in parentheses 123, at 4 p.m. PST in the item shop. That's the normal time, 6 o'clock central. So it wasn't just Chica that announced this, though. Cypher says pretty much the same thing. He says, my Fortnite icon series is getting an official LEGO style. Now you can TNT your friend's LEGO house in style. It'll be in the shop tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern. Thank you for everything. Now, in addition, Lachlan made an announcement as well. This is his icon LEGO skin. Looks pretty sweet. And also Ali A made an announcement. They all said at tomorrow's item shop. So despite there not being an actual announcement as of this video, I think it is pretty much confirmed at this point. But of course, I'll let you know if and when they do make that announcement. So what can we expect if this update does occur tomorrow? There's quite a few things coming. It should be a major, major update. So I kind of did a video about this this past weekend, but I didn't have all the specifics and now we do. So of course, in 21 hours as of this video, which is tomorrow, we will be getting the secret battle pass skin, which is Solid Snake. And he's got two pages of accessories. So apparently he has at least three different styles. So this is the image of him and all his accessories. So the main one in the middle is his normal style. He's got the goggles on the one on the right, and he's got the older version of himself on the left. He's got a wrap, a pickaxe, a glider, and a back bling. So a full combo. I love it. Now, in addition, in the reveal trailer for this season, we did see a cardboard box and Solid Snake pop out of that box. So I think it was in Chapter 2. If you remember, we did have a cardboard box we could utilize. It wasn't that impressive, but it's kind of like the snowman. You can hide in it and pop out. But hey, that's definitely from Metal Gear Solid, the game. So that should be interesting. Now, speaking of Metal Gear Solid and Solid Snake, according to Fire Monkey, we may be getting the Kinetic Blade back. So this is what he says. With the launch of Chapter 5 Season 1, Epic Games added new animation files for the Kinetic Blade and references to a new model. Some people are speculating that the Kinetic Blade could return for some item shop skins from the Metal Gear universe, such as Raiden. With this said, keep in mind Raiden is not currently confirmed to be coming to Fortnite. So if I remember correctly, technically Snake is Raiden's adoptive uncle and Raiden is a playable character in a few of the games as well. Raiden uses something called the HF Blade, which is pretty much a katana. So it would make sense for the Kinetic Blade to come back if Raiden really does come out. So that'll be awesome. I love the Kinetic Blade. The Shockwave Hammer, Kinetic Blade, two of the best items ever. So remember, nothing is confirmed here, but a lot of the data miners did see this change to the Kinetic Blade, so fingers crossed it comes back. Now, in addition, the super level styles should be coming out. We've got pages five, six and seven to unlock yet and these come out in three days so we'll definitely see them this update i'm hoping a lot of the better skins in the battle pass get super level styles but we'll see sometimes the best skins don't get them and that's always a little disappointing now if you come to quest rewards we should be able to unlock both the peter copter which is really cool i can't wait to see that in game as well as the underground jones style here that's going to require 12 weekly quests from weeks 7 through 9. So if you complete all of them so far, you should be at 6 out of 8. I've got 2 left to do. So that means you'll also be at 6 out of 12 for this one, and we have 6 more coming. So obviously you should be able to get both of these, which is really cool. Now, as I mentioned in the video on Saturday, we should be getting augments sometime soon. If we come to milestones, you see it says activate augments coming soon. Haven't seen them yet. If you come up to collections up here, it also says augments, even though we can't see them. So they may or may not be coming. Hopefully they will be. I like augments, but I know a lot of people don't. Now, also, as mentioned in my previous video, the snow could be melting as well. So right now, the entire northern aspect of the map and the entire right side of the map is snowbound. However, the data miners have seen that the northern aspect, at least most of it, is going to melt. So then only the right side of the map will have snow. Now, in addition, we are getting ever so closer to February, which means we're going to get the February 2024 crew pack. So this is going to be your last chance to get Silas here if you missed out on him. And then if you've been a crew member since these legacy rewards have started, you'll get the rhyme bound legacy version of this skin right here. In addition, you'll unlock hybrids phase legacy style, and then you'll get stage three of Grim Reckonings. This is the Auric legacy, which is a gold style. 
And then we'll get stage two of Silas's, which is this green. So a lot of legacies coming, as well as the new Fortnite crew. So other than that, of course, we'll probably get some new collabs, some new item shop tabs, and some new leaked skins as well. We'll get new quests in 20 hours and 44 minutes as well, as I already mentioned with the Peter Copter and the new skin for Jones. And of course, hopefully some bug fixes because there's quite a few out there. So the highlight is that a bunch of Icon Series content creators are getting their own LEGO skins, and hopefully we have a pretty significant update come tomorrow. Like I said, if they make an official announcement, I'll let you know as well. So there you go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.